I'm here with Maureen Curious and I'm Kathleen Putnam and we're very excited to talk about a group that we've formed together and we're coming on one year of forming a collective of people who want to come together and talk about grief in the 21st century. So Maureen, uh, I know we want to invite people to come and hear a little bit about what started the group? Where would the, the idea come from, from you? Uh, you know, Kathleen, gosh, a year ago after, it was this time a year ago after George Floyd's death, I realized I was reaching out to friends of color and making sure they were okay. And I realized I was really grieving and I was searching for grief and Black Lives Matter and I couldn't find a lot. And so that's when I reached out to you saying, hey, you're the grief coach. Even though we both have backgrounds in grief and end of life, I thought, do you want to do this with me? Mm -hmm. And you so graciously said, yes, once we decided to do it, I found a lot on grief and Black Lives Matter. But my whole goal was to bring people together in a safe space uh, to share. And I didn't know what it would be. Neither did you. We just sort of jumped in not knowing what would come of it, but we knew we would be there for as long as we're supposed to. And I just find it so um, amazing that a year later, I mean, this will be our 12th call and people are still showing up and new people are weaving in and out. Um, my whole desire to do this was to do better, to learn about things that I didn't know about around racial issues. And I say it in the first video and probably every video since, you know, Maya Angelou's quote to paraphrase, we do what we do until we know better. And when we know better, we can do better. So that was the whole premise. And, um, you know, I was told that as a white woman, people didn't think that you and I could pull something off like this, but it's just warmed my heart that we have been able to create this incredible, vibrant community of people. Yeah. So it's been a joy. Yeah, I'm just so appreciative of your leadership and inviting me to come. And what I've learned in the group is the need to just keep opening our hearts to learning and understanding, but also have compassion for everyone uh, who is drawn to the group. And we have educators and specialists and we have friends. And it the most important thing is that we're providing a safe place for people to come share their stories and their vulnerability so that we can all learn and grow. And we do try to keep it not political, but very focused on the learning and understanding and connection that we all desire while we're moving through this period of a lot of confusion, a lot of inundation with social media and news so that we can hold each other up and support one another. And I, yeah, I definitely know that I've learned and I've grown. And I think the group as a collective is doing better as a result and just so happy to be a part of it. You know, I love the iterations we've gone through. We started out as grief and Black Lives Matter because that's what was going on a year ago. Yeah. Um, and then we became grief and BIPOC matters because of, uh, gosh, we've had Native American we that has weaved in and out. We have uh, Asian friends that have weaved in and out. But with all that's going on with the um, AAPI and the Asian hate and everything that there's so much pain and suffering out there and grief, grief around this. So I love that you came up with the idea of grief in the 21st century because it's all encompassing. It's just you know, we, I didn't want to discount that say grief and all this matter because yes, all lives matter, but this is really about people that are stand out and that can't, can't change the color of their skin. They, you know, hearing about a Japanese woman that was hit with rocks in the international district a couple of weeks ago in Seattle, just breaks my heart hearing about the uh, 215 uh, children up in, you know, uh, First Nations children 
up in British Columbia. These are that they found graves. I mean, this is everyone is hurting and grieving. So the fact that we have this non-political arena where people can come and feel safe and vulnerable to share is so powerful. And the stories that we hear, oh my gosh, I have learned so much. I never knew about the Tulsa race uh, riots and ma race massacre. And by learning from Dr. Esther, um, going through her class that I learned about through this, it's just opened my eyes so much to our world. So we yeah. hope that you'll join us, reach out to myself or Maureen, and we'd love to have you. We meet once a month for about an hour to an hour and a half at four o'clock on Tuesdays, Pacific Standard Time. And the second Tuesday of every second month. Second Tuesday, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> so come and join us and see what it's all about. Wonderful. Thanks, Maureen. Thanks, Kathleen.